Hello and welcome back. In this video, we'll be writing a first playwright script. I'm really excited. Are you? Let's jump right into it. I'm in my project where I've installed Playwright. Now I'll create a .js file for my script. Now before we start writing the script, let me tell you, this will have quite a few JavaScript concepts. Like we'll be using arrow functions, immediately invoked function expressions, and async await. It is good if you understand these concepts. Again, the last section of the course contains short videos explaining these concepts. So you might want to have a look at them. Okay, so our script code needs to be in a function. So let's create an arrow function for that. Let's have it as an ify, that is immediately invoked function expression, so that it executes automatically. Now, Playwright APIs are asynchronous and written promise objects. So let's use async await pattern. Now let's start writing our first script based on what we learned in the previous tutorial. So we start by importing the browser type that we would like to use. Let's say Chromium. Now using this, we'll create a browser instance. Chromium.launch Next, we need to create a new context. Using this context, we'll create a page. Now, we'll navigate to our desired URL. Let's say we would like to go to to do MVC app. And then maybe let's take a screenshot just so that we know that we did navigate to the right page. For taking screenshots, we can use page.screenshot method. And here we'll specify the path. So that means we want screenshot to be named as todo.png and be placed at the project root directory. And finally, we'll close the browser. And there we have our first basic script ready with us. I'm really excited to run this. So let me just open my terminal. And to run this, we'll have to type node and the name of the script. Did it run or didn't it? Because we didn't see anything happening. But we do have our screenshot here. So what happened is it ran in headless mode because that's the default mode. And we do have our screenshot here. Good, so we did navigate to to do app. Now let's also try by setting headless to false so that we do see a browser opening up. Let me also delete this screenshot. Now to launch a browser, we need to turn off the headless flag. That's it. So did you see, it did launch a browser and we navigated to our desired site. Also what we can do here is we can skip creating a new context and directly create a page through the browser. So instead of this, we could have 
let's check this out and yes it works the same way so this will create a new page in a new browser context and will close the context when the page closes but this method isn't recommended and should only be used for single page scenarios and very short snippets so I hope you enjoyed creating the very first playwright script. Although we didn't interact with elements and have no assertions. Basically, nothing very interesting. But the next section is loaded with fun stuff. So stay with me as we explore all the different ways to identify and interact with elements, make assertions and navigate through pages and more.